we are now seeing uh, how do we do server spec tests for Ansible roles. So here is my code on my GitHub, uh, Ansible um, tests related. So when you see here, uh, I have a roles, a couple of roles, Nginx and Java. I've just left uh, Nginx as it is. And then if you see Java, it's such a very, very small role. It actually has a variable, uh, which is like uh, the version, uh, Java packages version. And then if you see here, in the tasks, it is just using uh, the M, the package module, and then it is installing that particular software that you mentioned in the default. So this is a very, very simple uh, role, Ansible role that we've created. And the reason uh, for the simple Ansible role is like, we just wanted to go with the tests. So where I've done the tests, if I go to the same directory, inside the tests, uh, of course, you can ignore this artifactory uh, Nginx or whatever the the two things that is really important for now at this moment is like spec.rb this is like spec helper um, and also the Java specs so once the role uh, once you have executed that Ansible role this is all the tests uh, that you wanted to actually do so like um, uh, you execute a command ls user bin Java and make sure that it, that is going fine and file USR uh, bin Java should exist. B symlink, uh, be linked to some some of these folder and then should be installed. Some of these tests, right? You can write your own tests. You can just go server spec dot org uh, and then go see uh, resource types, right? What are all the things that you can do? You can just uh, do C group things and you can see command, you can execute a command and then wait for output and then uh, see uh, wait, uh, in a study out, you can see particular, uh, you know, text uh, in exit status, you can see equal to zero or not. You can see there are so many in cron job you can test. There are so many things that you can do, but uh, in here we are doing Java related tests. So how do you actually install a role and, uh, and test it? So I'm using Vagrant. You can use AWS, you can use anything. Possibly I might try to do another video on uh, AWS. But now um, I wanted to stick to Vagrant because uh, uh, Vagrant is uh, very simple to use and you don't really have any hassle. So first thing uh, to actually uh, carry on testing with this requirement is like you need to have a Vagrant and you need to have a VirtualBox installed. So just to show you, I'm just opening a virtual box here and then gonna show this, this okay, I think uh, there, there's a VM that is already running. So I'm gonna stop this manually. Uh, I'm gonna stop this manually, power off, and then remove that. Uh, so I, I'm removing the server. So this is all clean. So there is no VM running at the moment in my virtual box or maybe uh, I have no machines running via Vagrant. So all you need to do is just follow the readme which is written here. Uh, just go with the git clone. So don't worry about the video URL. So which I'll be updating after posting this video. So git clone, uh, here I'm just using the git clone. I'm just cloning the repository. Once this is being cloned, cd into that particular directory server spec right this directory this directory will be created you just need to move into cd once that is all done if you give ls hyphen la you will have a vagrant file created right so you need to have vagrant already installed you can just go google it how to install vagrant and maybe how to install virtual box all you need to do is vagrant up so what this vagrant up does right it actually reads this vagrant file and then create uh, boxes as per uh, the vagrant file. Let me just show you uh, less vagrant file. So it contains, um, uh, this is a box. This is going to create a CentOS 7.6 uh, box. Obviously I have commented uh, RHL 7 and uh, this one. If you really wanted to use something, change the playbook um, and make it use APT module instead of uh, um, package module or maybe but the M module and give the exact name of the Java package and then change it as per uh, 
your needs and then you can actually test it based on ubuntu if you have written your role on ubuntu but here the answer, the role has been written on uh, uh, centos 7.6 so i'm testing it on the this box what it does is it uses your uh, hardware in your laptop and then uh, some of that uh, hardware will be used to provision another uh, vm in the virtual box and it will allocate uh, some of the uh, cpu virtual uh, memory to that particular vm so after that there is a provision in the vagrant file um, it is go it will provision for 7.6 uh, machine and it will install ansible in that particular machine which is your provisioning and after that it will execute local.ml um, the file which is like playbook let me show you what local.ml contains oh, so i've just commented this too so it is now ex it is now executing java role obviously if you say roles you have java role right so if you execute this playbook java role will be installed now uh, i'm just clearing the screen pwd so i'm in this server spec folder and if i just give ls you have a vagrant file all you need to do is vagrant up vagrant up if you do vagrant up first it will actually boot the machine and then it will run the provision sorry the spelling wrong one of those things so it might take less time for me uh, because I've already got a box installed, right? Box uh, downloaded. If you are running it for the first time, based on your uh, broadband connection, it takes about 15 minutes to 20 minutes uh, to download the box. From there, uh, from next time when you're running Vagrant, it will actually be, uh, will be fast. But here it is a little faster for me um, because I've already uh, had this, I mean, I tried before this uh, video couple times so box has been downloaded now everything is done with the box now it is trying to provision the machine so machine booted and ready so it is now installing ansible like i said the ansible local provisioner we have used and we've used right so it will be installing ansible on that particular guest machine uh, guest machine that we have actually provisioning, which is in the in our case, which is CentOS 7.6. And if you see host, it will contain uh, 127.0.0. All this will be moved on to that particular host. So once that is all done, so what this does is first it will actually install the particular Java role, and then it will run the tests. So now it is executing that local playbook, whatever the ML file which we have given. Obviously, we've given role Java. It is installing uh, Java packages. Might take a um, couple of minutes. Just gonna pause it and then, uh, yeah, so don't worry. So don't, don't need to pause it. So they actually done that. And then if you see, it has taken 0.64 seconds. It's like under a second it has taken. Uh, it has done eight tests. If you want to know more about the tests, role, um, test, sorry, Java, sorry, test, uh, Java. So these are all the tests it has done, right? So all you need to do is, uh, clone that repository and then uh, execute a vagrant up. Make sure you have vagrant and virtual box installed. Now I'm gonna do vagrant destroy. Before that, I just wanted to show, yeah, you have a virtual mission created. Uh, beginning of this video, I've removed the existing video, I mean existing virtual machine. Now uh, when I say vagrant destroy, it'll ask you yes or no why you can give and then this will be cleaned up if you don't want to give this why you can say vagrant destroy hyphen f and then uh, it will not ask you yes or no it will directly go destroy it thank you so much guys for watching and uh, i'll be keeping the
github link in my description have a good day bye